You have found Denim Creations. It's a channel about the things that I make and do with denim. I recycle, I reuse, and I upcycle clothing and especially jeans. If you're the kind of person that likes to see crafting and sewing, upcycling, and fashion design, then you've come to the right place. I'm Martha. I'm the lead designer for this channel. During each episode, you will see me do many different things. Create dresses, cover boxes with denim, sew pillows, making stars, making coverings for flower pots. I even covered a chair. How many people do you know have a headboard covered with denim? Well, I do. I hope you'll keep watching. Today's episode, I'm going to solve a problem. My problem is I have a chest of drawers that I allowed the top to get fairly ruined. So keep watching, join me, and thanks for stopping by. This is the door to my laundry room. It's right next to my dining room and my living room. We're going to be working out here for a while, so I'm going to show you where it is. It's a step down. I think this used to be a garage. They converted it. This house was built in 1980. That's my dryer. I did have a washing machine that matched it. But when we moved here, the movers dropped the washing machine and they broke the knob off of it. So we traded it in for a used machine. And this is the one we use now. We paid $239 for it five years ago and it works great but we're here today to look at this chest because we're going to do a denim upcycling with this chest I have to tell you a story about this chest everything in my life has a story that goes with it I was at a yard sale it was a yard sale for a private school. And I got there the last day because I hadn't, didn't really know about it till the last day. And a friend took me and we liked it. And this chest was at the checkout counter. And we shopped for a long time and they had 50% off. They had a bag sale at the last couple hours. And this chest was there while we were checking out. And there was a long line and we stood there. And I kept looking at this chest. And I had a place at the time where I needed a chest to store garden equipment at my other house. So the chest was marked $25. So I said to the sales clerk, uh, I'm assuming, oh, there's my dogs. You're going to hear my dogs barking. That's Buddy. He's checking out what we're doing. You're going to hear them walking around. You're going to hear them barking. That's pretty typical in my life. So I said, well, I'm assuming this is half price, right? It's $25 and it'll be $12.50. She said, yes, but I'll sell it to you for $10 if you'll haul it out of here. We don't want to have to haul it away. And I said, great. So when I bought it, it was white and it had mold on it. It is not wood. It is uh, that MDF stuff, you know. But I needed it for storage. I didn't need it to be all fancy-smancy. 
so when we moved into this house, I decided to use it here in the laundry room. Obviously, I needed something. And I keep uh, extra tablecloth, sheets, towels. There's some garden equipment in there, maybe some light bulbs, that kind of thing. Well, I heard about this paint, this new fancy dancy kind of paint. It's supposed to be really wonderful. Everybody was using it. So I spent $13 on a cup of this fabulous paint. And I liked the color and I painted it. Well, I liked it just fine, but I happened to be in Dollar General one day. Yay, yay, yay for Dollar General. I love the Dollar General store. And I saw these turquoise words. And I thought, well, heck, that looked cute on that chest. So it's smile, awesome, happy, cheer, fabulous, sparkle, hello, love, super. I thought, hmm, I'm going to do that. So I did. And I've enjoyed the chest now for five years. Okay. Well, they told me in the directions that you have to seal this kind of paint. But did I listen? Heck no. Did I do what the directions said to do? Well, of course not. So, let's look and see what happened. You can see I used this chest for my detergent. Da da! Boing, 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 boing. Da da! Boing, boing, boing. Oh, Martha. Why did you let this do this? Oh, what can we do? What, oh, what can we do? Oh, I've got an idea. Let's cover it in denim. I think that would look attractive. And who are we? What do we do? We're denim creations. So, instead of turning the camera and keeping it on and fast forward and all that stuff, I'm going to add denim to the chest top and I'm going to take slides as I go and then I'm going to present you with the slideshow. I'd prefer to do it that way. So keep watching. There's going to be step by step by step how I'm doing this and then you'll see the final results as well. Keep watching now. You've got to keep watching. And while you're watching, hit like, hit subscribe, and smile. <laughs> Keep watching. The supplies needed for this project are simple. You need some denim, you need some scissors, and you need some Mod Podge. If you're not using Mod Podge, I suggest you stop this video, immediately run and order you some, and learn how to use it. Mod Podge is a very thick, super glue. And don't worry about the white that you're seeing there. It dries clear. That's a great thing about Mod Podge. You put it on the top and the bottom and it dries clear. So Mod Podge, homage to Mod Podge. Keep watching. As you see, we're going step by step by step by step. I cut. I decide how I want to fix it together, and I glue it down. And that's how fast this went, and we are almost done. Yeah, done, one and done. Um, I love it. And that's going to give me a good, solid tabletop there. Don't even have to dust it. Well, that's it for the fifth episode of Denim Creations. I hope you enjoyed seeing how you can turn a calamity into something that's attractive and will be enjoyable and usable in your home in the future. Shout out to Mod Podge. It's just one of the best things you're ever going to use in your home. And now you know it's up to you to like, subscribe, ring the bell, but mainly watch, watch and watch and watch. I have other videos out there. You can find them now. Everything about denim you ever think you want to know. Bye for now.
let down some friends But I know I can't please them all See that rut That you're standing in While you're going down Every time